Thank you very much. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here with you today, and I want to begin by uh, offering my congratulations to Helio and to the Mises Institute Brazil for uh, their great success in all of their activities and operations, and especially in putting uh, this conference together. Uh, I, I am in strong agreement with the previous speaker that to be a good Austrian economist, one must be a generalist and not a specialist. However, I am delighted that I do not have to explain the entire history of the Austrian school in one lecture, but rather I can focus on a specific topic, namely the economics of the entrepreneur and the place of entrepreneurship in economic science. As many of you know, uh, entrepreneurship is becoming increasingly popular as a subject of discussion in academia, in politics, in economic development, and in many other walks of life. Uh, I call it the entrepreneurship phenomenon, meaning the increase in attention that is devoted to entrepreneurship in many parts of society. Uh, you have at the universities an increasing number of entrepreneurship courses in business schools, also in other parts of the university. Uh, you have uh, entrepreneurship journals this, uh, in, in academic research, uh, publications that specialize in mainstream research in entrepreneurship. You have many uh, university research centers and here are just a few that I've chosen at random, one at Stanford, one at the University of Illinois, and one at MIT, uh, some of which have uh, uh, very substantial amounts of resources devoted to uh, uh, teaching entrepreneurship, research in entrepreneurship, doing outreach and policy work in entrepreneurship as well. There are some private foundations. The Kauffman Foundation is uh, uh, the largest one that specializes in supporting entrepreneurship research and entrepreneurship activities. Uh, even uh, within the, uh, among policymakers and development experts, World Bank, IMF, and so on, they all talk about entrepreneurship as an important means for economic development. You know, this is Muhammad Yunus, uh, the no uh, Nobel Peace Laureate in 2008 or 2009, a uh, specialist in microenterprise and microfinance, uh, also an economist, of course, and many people uh, saw the Nobel Peace Prize to Mr. Yunus as a recognition by the sort of international policy elites uh, that entrepreneurship is a key to social change and maybe even the path to peace. The word entrepreneur and words like entrepreneurship entrepreneurial, uh, they're used in many, many different ways in different contexts. And it isn't always very clear what, what does it mean? What does it mean to be an entrepreneur? What does it mean to act in an entrepreneurial way? People have many different things in mind when they use these words. For example, sometimes they think of uh, uh, people who start important companies. Right, so there's Bill Gates, uh, 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 the co-founder of Microsoft along with Paul Allen. So often the word entrepreneur is used to describe people like this, uh, people who start small companies that grow and become very large. Uh, sometimes entrepreneur is used to refer to innovators. This is uh, Mr. Edison, Thomas Edison, of course. Uh, maybe you think of uh, a, an older generation of industrialists like John D. Rockefeller. These are innovators who create new industries, who create new products and services, make them available to consumers. Sometimes the word entrepreneurship is used to describe specific companies. So we might say that Google or Apple, or to take a, a, a somewhat older industrial example, 3M, that these are entrepreneurial companies, whereas uh, you know, Petrobras is not an entrepreneurial company, <laughs> right? So we often use the word entrepreneurial as an adjective, and we use it to describe particular kinds of organizations that are uh, 
uh, more dynamic, more innovative, uh, more exciting, more creative, and so on. Uh, we might even use the word entrepreneurial to describe a whole culture or an entire society. We might say Brazil is a very vibrant and dynamic and entrepreneurial society with a lot of economic change, high economic growth, whereas uh, country, where's, where's Professor Hulsman? France, for example, that's not a very entrepreneurial society.